Look at this beautiful picture of Saturn and moons. Amazing, right? Right from NASA.gov. Okay, I'm going to add this to my photos and I'm going to open it up right in front of all of you. Okay, and I'm going to edit it right here. Gonna up the exposure all the way. Brilliance. Oh, well that's interesting already, isn't it? Highlights, I'm going to leave eh, probably in the middle. Shadows, I'm gonna bring the shadows up. Oh, well isn't that interesting? Contrast, hmm. Brightness. Let's leave that right there. Black points. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so that's Saturn from Voyager. Yeah, that's not compression or anything else. This is a fake photo. Isn't it weird that every space documentary, all the series, I had them all, Joe had them all, we watch them all the time. I try to remember all the about a neutron star and a super hypernova. I was Hyper me and Joe Nova. were deep into space. Beyond Venus, 93 million miles from the sun, is Earth. It's great oceans forming the clouds and air currents which warm and irrigate the planet. I thought I was better than people and because I knew so much about space. <clears throat> and every now and then I'd watch all that shit. <laughs> and wonder and wonder what this is all cartoons and every now and then i think to myself it's weird that we're not watching any actual footage of space it's all cgi all dvds on space are all cgi there's nothing real and everyone watches that they believe it the narration is all programming what's above us and what we're on we're being lied to do we have a hubble why don't you point it at the Earth and get some awesome shots of where we live? All the pictures and images from space are CGI. None of them are real. We haven't gone past that. What, are you telling me that that's okay? We could just gloss over that? And they admit that they're all CGI. Except for one in 1972, which is fake. They have one picture. They say one is real. 1972, all the rest are CGI. Like, where are the pictures of earth from space i want to see a picture i want to see tens of thousands of them i want to see the sun over here and the moon over there there's people should have posters and all, all over the world people should have these epic pictures of the earth from space with the moon over here and the sun over there and the planets there's none literally zero they do sometimes exaggerate like claiming they used a nasa camera 1.6 million miles away to take this alleged video of the dark side of the moon. It doesn't take a genius to see how undeniably computer generated this image is. And yet, you think we are the moronic ones? I would rather be thought as a moron for not trusting criminals than a sellout and a traitor for defending them. the reality what, is the things that come out of your mouth are you saying something that a defense attorney would say or are you saying something that a prosecuting attorney would say i when it comes to the government that criminal that's like john Gotti. i'm saying that a prosecuting attorney would say not saying like we'll prove it we'll prove it it's a criminal without a doubt whatever's coming from the government you need i need some irref i need the kind of evidence that they would shut down a case if i don't see the evidence why would i believe it? what is gravity you have no idea okay next question <laughs>
So you're telling me gravity is strong enough to hold oceans onto it, battling inertia from the spin. So gravity's holding oceans, inertia's trying to pull it out and make it fling. Skyscrapers would fling off the earth, but this gravity's holding these. It's so strong, it's holding these, but it can't hold a helium balloon. Things that are less dense go up. Things that are more dense go down. It has nothing to do with gravity. Where's gravity at with butterflies? You would think that if gravity is so strong it's holding skyscrapers down to it, we would be flat on the ground. There is gravity all the way out to the moon and beyond. <laughs> Long before the theory of gravity was a glimmer in Newton's imagination, the natural physics of density and buoyancy already perfectly explained why apples fall down. Objects fall or rise based on their relative density to the medium surrounding them. Apples fall because they are denser than the air, while helium balloons rise because they are lighter. No gravity necessary. This is why raindrops fall down through the air, and air bubbles rise up through water. Everything seeks its relative density and rises or falls until settling accordingly. This is why a tiny pebble sinks to the bottom of the ocean, but gigantic cruise ships and aircraft carriers stay afloat on the surface. Because even though a pebble is so small, its mass, relative to its volume, its density, is more than water, so it sinks. And even though a cruise ship is so large, its mass, relative to its volume, is less than water, so it floats. If Newton's apple had landed in a puddle, he would have seen the apple only fell through the air because it was denser than the air, but then floated on top of the water because it was less dense than water. The natural physics of density and buoyancy was understood and agreed upon for centuries before they changed our textbooks and started NASA. All our space information is coming from NASA. NASA. Yeah. Warner Von Braun was the director of all six moon missions and he's a Is that not a comic book? That's a comic, comic book, comic book. My fellow Nasdanos, I am sorry to say I am leaving you to join the elite. Operation Paperclip. In the United States of America. Operation Paperclip. My people in Germany, all they want is freedom and peace. We want to welcome you to the US of A. We must divert their attention. I'm going to make so much f***ing money. It's crazy. To brainwash a nation, we will need automation. I want to bring my technology of airplane models. I want to work with Walt. I want to see the best people. We need to get the indoctrination started. If people believe an airplane can go to the moon, we might be able to do it. To brainwash a nation. I will need help. We will need animation. Please bring in help. United States of America. And action. Aw, oh, jeez. Who hired these guys? Jesus Christ. These guys can't act. People will fall for it. People will fall for it. Its people must know. And the heavens declare the glory of God in his firmament. For sure it is handiwork. The people must know. The people have to know.